Hello everyone, welcome to the next episode of Daily Quant Dose. So, my name is Samir Sardana. This is a series where, where we are discussing excellent and relevant questions for your CAT exam preparation. Questions which are on higher side of difficulty but covers the multiple concepts and which are very very relevant for CAT will be covered in this whole series. So we have for real values of x, this expression lies between 1 and k and does not take any value above k, the k equals to 1. Whereas what I am going to take is, I will take this whole expression. So what is the right way to approach this, right? Let us understand this. There is an information given here in the first line itself that the value of x is a real number. This is what you have to use. So, and this is a standard method for any quadratic expression, just k, numerator may be a quadratic expression or any fractional expression which have a quadratic equation in numerator as well as a quadratic equation in denominator. But as a question, CAT 2021 ke paper may be aya tha bacho, right? Or previous CAT paper may, I guess, ye question multiple times pucha hua hai. 2021 ka paper check karoge, to you'll find a one, this type of question in the morning slot as well as in the evening slot, right? In fact, tino slot ke andar maximum minima ka yehi type aya tha. So what is the way to solve this question, guys? You have to use this information for real values of x. x ki value is real hai, right? And here, this, these quadratic equations are given to you as in, in terms of x. If somehow I convert this expression, whole expression, in terms of x as a quadratic equation only, then I will be able to use this concept that x is a real number. Because in a quadratic equation, right, if a quadratic equation in terms of x is given to you and x is a real number, that means the graph of that equation will definitely cut the x-axis at two different points. This means the roots are real and different also. And if the roots are equal for a quadratic equation, then it will touch the x-axis. And if roots are imaginary, then the quadratic equation will not touch the x-axis. So if x is real, either it would be this case or it will be this case. For this case, we have discriminant greater than zero. And for this case, we have discriminant equal to zero. What is discriminant? Discriminant is b square minus 4ac. What is b and a and c? These are the coefficient of, uh, b is a coefficient of x, a is a coefficient of x square, c is a constant in any stand, for any standard quadratic equation. I hope you know this much basics, right? That discriminant, for discriminant equal to 0, that means b square minus 4ac will be equal to 0, right? Now, in this particular equation, it says x is real. So, either it will be this case or it would be this case. This cannot be the case. Depending upon the coefficient of x square, Parabola can be downward also, but these two conditions will still remain the same. So we'll use this, right? So we, we the first step to do is write down this whole expression as equal to k x square plus two x plus four equal to let's say let's assume that this is a value which is equal to p. Right? Now what I'm supposed to do is simply solve this equation now. Can I do the cross multiplication? This is 3x square minus 6x plus 12 is equal to p times of x square plus 2px plus 4p. Now take this on the left hand side. This will be 3 minus p into x square minus 6x minus 2px plus 12 minus 4p is equal to 0. Now this is 3 minus p square minus 2x into 3 plus 3 plus p, right? Plus 4 into 3 minus p equal to 0. Now discriminant, this is a quadratic equation in terms of x square. Whether it's an upward parabola or downward parabola that depends coefficient of x square is positive or negative. For, but for real x, d will definitely be greater than or equal to 0. Now, if I apply this condition that d, that is discriminant, b square minus 4ac should be either greater than or it should be equal to 0. For that, right, just simply put the values of coefficient. b is a coefficient of x, which is 2 into 3 plus p in this case. Now, taking square of b is 4 into 3 plus p whole square minus 4 times of a which is 3 minus p into c which is 4 times of 3 minus p. p square minus 4 into a into c is equal to 0. Now what I can do is I can take 4 common and take it on the right hand side. This has to be greater than equal to 0. 
So can I write down this expression as 3 plus p whole square minus 4 times of 3 minus p into 3 minus p whole square, right? Greater than or equal to 0, right? Yes, this is perfectly fine. Now you just need to solve this inequality, right? If you can solve this inequality, you will be you will be able to find out the maximum value of the k because the question is asking you to find out the maximum value uh, uh, of this expression, right? And we have assumed this expression to be equal to p, so we have to find out the maximum value of p. And we already have an inequality in terms of p, so this will automatically give us the answer, right? So three plus p whole square would be a square. It will be equal to a square plus b square, 3 plus p whole square, a square plus b square, plus 2 times of ab, that is plus 6 times of p, minus 4 times of 3 minus p whole square, minus 4 times of a square, plus b square, minus 2 times of ab, greater than or equal to 0, 9 plus p square, plus 6p, minus 36, minus 4p square, plus 24p, greater than or equal to 0. Now, p square minus 4p square will be equal to minus p p square. Plus 6p plus 24 is plus 30p. Plus 9 minus 36 will be equal to minus 27. This is greater than or equal to 0. Right? Okay. Now, you guys can divide this whole equation by minus 3. This will be p square minus 30p plus 9 less than equal to 0 right plus 10 sorry minus 10 plus 9 less than equal to 0 now the sign of inequality will get changed keep this in mind in inequality if there is an expression with inequality if you are multiplying with a negative side on both sides sign of inequality will get changed this is basic of inequality right you guys can prove it any day right for example, you can see that 5 is greater than minus 3. But if I multiply on both sides by minus 3, this will become minus 15 and this will become 9. And 9 will become more than minus 15, right? Because this will become positive and this will become negative on multiplying on both sides by negative, right? Same is the case for positive values also. You see that 5 is greater than 3. If I multiply on both sides by minus 3, this become minus 15, this become minus 9. Now, this is my 15 on negative side. This is 9 on negative side. So minus 9 any day will be greater than minus 15, right? Negative side may magnitude jitna bada hoga value utni choti hogi. So therefore sign of inequality will get changed. Now here you just need to factorize it. P square minus 9p minus p plus 9 less than or equal to 0. That is p minus 9 into p minus 1, right? Will be less than or equal to 0. That means, that means now you just need to solve this inequality. The roots of this are 1 and 9 right one root is one another one is nine so this lies between one and nine right so ye pura quality equation x x is ko one or nine pe cut karega so that means the value of p here for ab isko negative karna hai so negative ya less than equal to zero karna hai to wo one or nine ke beech mein hoga that means ye expression jo humne jisko p ke equivalent mana tha this p is less than equal to nine and greater than equal to one I mean, it's the maximum value k k equivalent rakha hua hai aur k ki value bata nahi hai, toh k will be equal to 9. So, this is how you are supposed to find out the maximum and minimum of such type of, such expression. And this has appeared in CAT in previous year paper. Kabhi na kabhi ye question aapko CAT mein phir jarur milega. So, you should know the right approach of solving this question. This will always give you the correct answer, right? Thank you so much for watching the video. And I am teaching on an academy, right? I am taking classes for quant, data interpretation and logical reasoning for CAT exam preparation. In the last five years, uh, I have been on the platform and I have uh, taking I have been taking classes for all these three subjects of preparation. There is an offer, okay, uh, of thirty percent on twelve month and fifteen month subscription on an academy. If you are willing to go for it, right, you'll be getting these prizes on plus subscription. The maximum discount you'll be getting. Practice, prepare, and win. There's a next uh, after CAT. Once the CAT is over, there will be test for OMTs that will be happening on the platform for SNAP 30th November 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. December 14th IFT 10 to 12. December 28th ZAT 9:30 to 12:40.
you guys can win scholarship know where you stand with the all india rank and this is a scan code using which you guys will be able to enroll for and if you go for an academy plus subscription guys any subscription you go for right, or please use the code smee.yt this is my referral code for using the plus, for, to get the plus or iconic subscription the benefit of using this subscription is that i'll be personally helping you and mentoring you for your cat exam preparation right if you use this code right a four plus or iconic subscription these are the benefits to join any plus or iconic batch you'll be getting digital notes unlimited access interactive live sessions structured courses and pdfs and these additional benefits in iconic subscription you'll be getting digital and physical notes gd by vat one to one live mentorship and live doubt solving plus these features using this code whether you go for plus or you go for iconic you'll be getting my personal one to one mentorship and counseling also and also help you with your doubts throughout the year for your cat exam preparation so use this code for plus subscription on academy and to attend my batches on an academy thank you so much for watching the video see you in the next part thank you